Hello guys, welcome back to Chamber of Chess. Today we're going to discuss skewers and I'm going to give you a list of games. So this one is uh, from Istanbul Olympiad in 2012, round 9. Armenia-Germany match that Armenia won, two and a half, like versus one and a half. So here we got a position and uh, white is pressing, though white was completely winning before, but he actually missed and here we gotta uh, find a way to improve the position because it's actually three on three so it's more or less equal but still we want to find some ways to you know create some problems for black so actually black played e4 here Lyra is black Vladimir Hakopian is white so once he played e4 white found a way to I mean, improve the position of the queen because right here it's not really working. I think black hoped for capture and just checks and it's a draw. So black played check. F5 would have been way better because you always want your king to be active. But I guess black just wanted to stay closer to the pawn. Queen d4. We got the same position, just the point is that the queen is in the center now. And, I don't know, potentially maybe some checks, maybe not right now, uh, especially that this pawn is going to fall. Thing is, black missed that, because after this, queen g4. I mean, uh, black resigned right here. Actually, if you, um, um, yeah, if you search for in YouTube, Meyer Akopian Blunder, you'll find the exactly the same moment on video. The moment that black blundered, and he blundered you. <laughs> resigned immediately so after this white is just easily winning through and easy i mean he was singing a while but he just missed that okay so our next game actually it's not a game it's more like um you know sample and i'm sure there are a lot of games like this the point is that this is a bad draw and black really cannot move his king close so the only thing is i mean it's, it's a draw anyway so just stay here or we can just stay like this. The point is that the moment white king reaches g2, rook just goes. If he gets closer, you can even go back and we'll just get check. Yeah, it's that draw anyway, because king has nowhere to go. The point is that here, like this. But the moment black king gets any closer, I mean, obviously, if it's this, it's just going to be check yeah. and queen. It's just a neat trick, the only way to win. And that's all. Our next game. Actually, this is a sample that we made. So, the first move is I mean, it's an extra piece, but still, it's hard to win for white because, I mean, there's a queen and he's gonna just keep checking. So, it's almost like as hard to win as the rook bishop versus rook. We should be to check. The point is that. With queens and with initiative, which I mean, if it's white's turn, you really might have a way to create some problems. And that's it. In case he keeps the bishop, check right there. Does the pro to have a king near the center? Okay, our last game actually it's announced playing uh, someone. Ah, let's see you shoot. So they're playing together, and I guess it's a missed tactic by Anon. He played Queen F7. I mean, <laughs> he was supposed to play Queen F7, but he just missed it. Maybe it was a blitz or something. So I think he, he, maybe he gave a check or something like this. I mean, check is also an advantage, but of course not even like something like this. If you take, you should take, and Queen F5. It's not really like nearly something that queen f7 guarantees and it's pretty uh it's like it's not really to spot this move because you're just you're giving up a queen check and that's it easy to win that's all okay guys that was the topic on skewers and next time i'm thinking about something connected to rook end games we're also thinking doing about positional compensations or about creative advancement, you know, when you advance your pawns from the king. 
So we're just gonna think about this. That's it. And subscribe, like, leave your comments, and I'll see you next time.